Hi everyone and welcome to unit two. Um, with this unit I not only want to introduce what we'll be talking about in terms of the history uh, that we'll be focusing on, but I also want to give you a quick rundown of um, how these learning modules will work. Because from unit two moving forward, um, they'll all essentially be the same in terms of their structure. So I'm sharing my screen here with you. Uh, you can see that we're here in unit two. Um, what we're going to do is um, just kind of go through the elements of uh, each learning module so that you understand what's here and what you'll need to complete each time. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because you have a couple of options in terms of, of what you can do for each learning module. So when you click on uh, whatever learning module you're going into, you'll see an introduction uh, to the topic. Welcome to Unit 2 the date, and then the topics that we'll be working on. The next thing you'll see is this section, in order to complete this unit's coursework, you will. And then in blue, I have stuff for the first day, and then what you'll need to do for the second day. Below that are the objectives and the points possible. So you'll see that uh, here, the first section under the first day, you'll complete the readings, you'll view the film clips. And in this case, you'll post one discussion question. Uh, the discussion questions are always due on the first day um, during the unit, so we have a discussion. If it's a blog, um, your first step of the blog won't be due until the second day at noon, um, so just keep that in mind. Um, you'll always have, uh, the first day you'll always have to complete readings, um, and you'll always have to uh, complete at least some reading tweets or multiple choice questions. So those are both outlined in the syllabus in their respective tabs on uh, the left-hand side of the page. And um, those are there just so you can kind of have some options. You can decide whether you want to complete the work on Twitter um, as described, or if you don't want to do that, you can do some multiple choice questions. If you want to do a little of both, that's fine too. Remember though that you always have to, to complete the discussions or the blogs. Those are never um, optional, always mandatory. Uh, you have to work on those in order to pass the class. During the second day then, for Unit 2, you will submit your two responses to uh, your peers' questions. So you'll select two of the questions uh, that your peers have asked, and you will write um, specific responses to those. They don't have to be um, hugely detailed, but they do have to include at least two uh, specific cited references to the readings or the films. So something we're working on excuse me, something we're working on with the discussions is using evidence from the materials to support your ideas and provide evidence for your, or I should say, provide examples of your ideas. Um, once you've responded to your peers' questions, you'll either need to complete a journal entry or you can complete the four glossary entries for uh, the e-text. You can also do a combination of those. You can do the journal and a couple of glossary entries if you want. So what I'm getting at here is you can acquire extra credit, but as noted in the syllabus, um, you can't just stop working if you get a bunch of extra credit at the beginning of the term. So you'll always have to keep doing the discussions and the blogs. Um, if I'm gonna scroll back up here, um, when I embed this video uh, that you're watching now, you'll see it here, so hopefully you will have found it already. Um, I'm gonna scroll up here and uh, just show you this table of contents. Um, also, when you click this button, you'll go to the next one, which is the Unit 2 Readings. But if ever you want to jump ahead, do something else, or go back to something you already looked at, just use this table of contents. Um, so for example, if you've already looked at this intro and you've already done some of the readings, you want to submit your discussion question, you can just click here on Discussion 1 and it will take you to this part of the module page. Now it looks like you'll have to actually click this link here to go to the discussion. I won't do that now because you can do that on your own when uh, you get to that point. So uh, hopefully this will help in terms of understanding how to move through the learning modules. Um, and I'm gonna move now, I'm gonna end the screencast and uh, instead um, just give you a, a look at me and a discussion of some of the content that we're going to be covering in Unit 2. 